Hello, this is Mari from Tech Geek, and I know you lot like a nice, cheap, mechanical RGB LED keyboard. So here today, we're going to be reviewing the Ajaz AK33 mechanical keyboard. Um, unfortunately, I've been lending this keyboard for the video, so I can't show, I can't have the actual box. So I'll try and find a clip right now on screen um, of the unboxing. Uh, just want to say cheers to Tech Tesseract for the clip for the unboxing and let's go into the unboxing. Uh, he's currently sitting on about 30,000 subs, so we'll go help him out. I'll put a link in the description. When you receive the Just Keyboard, it comes with a nice solid outer box. And when you open that up, you get met with another nice black box with chrome red text that says Geek on it. Um, when you open it up, uh, the keyboard is safely packaged and it just has a big AG in red on the front again. And when, and when we look underneath that, you have the USB, uh, the key puller and some warranty info. Okay, so th the first thing I notice when I get the keyboard out of the box is the aluminium uh, like key plate underneath the keys. Uh, it looks quite nice and reflects the light well. Okay, now we move on to the back of the keyboard and the keyboard has a horrible glossy back finish. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this and it looks like it should be on a children's toy. Okay, and as we're talking about the back of the keyboard, the keyboard comes with some nice kickstands. Kickstands are always helpful for just putting them down, having a bit more flexibility on where you put your keyboard, and just l looks pretty good. Okay, as we're still on the back of the keyboard, the, the Jazz has some nice rubber feet. It's not the biggest deal for me, but I'm sure it's pretty handy for some people out there. Thankfully, the micro USB cable is removable, but unfortunately, it's on the left side instead of the right side, which is unusual. As you might be pleased to know, the, the font on the keys are actually very uh, not gamer-like and like a very normal um, font. Now as we move on to keys and switches, um, as I don't have the key puller, um, I literally could just take it off with my hand and I actually went back in and clicked very well and looked very durable. As you can see, as I've took that key off, the LED lighting will just shine through the key so the LED lighting is strong. Now there are a lot of different options with this keyboard. You can get the UK layout with red switches, but I've been sent the US layout with black switches. Now it's strange having the delete key um, in the top right, so you do tend to kind of hit it when you're uh, trying to hit the backspace when typing. The arrow keys are oversized and with having the shift and control keys um, miniaturized. Now the good thing is you have all your multimedia keys at the top of your keyboard. Now, the design is a bit strange, but obviously, with most things, you will get used to it, and it's actually quite nice after a while. Now, um, the keyboard uses uh, Zorro switches. Normally, these Chinese keyboards use Altimu switches. Uh, a thing I have noticed is that uh, some of the keys actually feel a bit heavier than others, so there is like a little bit of difference with certain keys. Um, so here's a type test. Now the keyboard does come in black and white and the white one unfortunately only has a few colour modes with only having blue RGB but um, I, I will show you the modes um, so what you want to do if you have this keyboard is if you press FN and then like the plus and the arrow keys it will turn the brightness up and down and if you go to FN and you go to the brightness one again it will just change the colour mode that little bit so it can goes on and off and looks quite cool. Um, so that is basically the end of the review. This is a great cheap mechanical keyboard. Uh, if you're looking to buy one, I'll put links uh, for Amazon for this keyboard in the description, along with Tech Tesseract for uh, helping me out with the clip of the unboxing. Um, so I think it's about 20 quid. Um, the black variant does have a lot more uh, RGB color uh, like styles, and it's so much better than the white variant, but I don't have it, so I can't really show it off. But um, if you did enjoy this review, please hit it with a like, uh, subscribe if you're feeling that, that little bit extra nice, and I'll see you guys in the next review and video. Bye.